really feel like it's this whole pandemic stuff where people are just not showing up to work. Like people will accept the job offer, everything, and they don't show up. So I just had not a wasted trip because I still had to get, I did have new hires that show up over the weekend. So I got their packets. But it really does suck when I go out here to come all the way over here to do a new hire orientation just for that person, just to find out that you're gonna BS me. But I really feel like I give a full view of the job. So I think sometimes people reflect on that. I also give them the option to say, hey, you know, call me if you don't think this is gonna work or if you change your mind or whatever. I didn't check my voicemail, so maybe she left the voicemail. I just didn't send me an email. I still had some time over there to get some things done. So now I'm headed back to my actual office. And so when I get there, even though it's so tempting to get me some ice cream, so I might stop and get ice cream real quick. But when I get back, I really need to get with IT and get some things, some kinks fixed on my software type stuff, like email access and stuff like that. When I'm done with that, I'm doing some interviews and just onboarding paperwork. And I think I should be done for the day. It kind of sucks because our whole recruiting event with the news got moved to next week. So maybe I'll do like a week in the life of for next week so you guys can see like how next week rolls um, instead of just a day in the life of and, and show it then. But I'm gonna say hello, it feels kind of weird like walking around telling people about what I do all day because I feel like Damn, it's like I'm spying on myself for myself. I'm not gonna do it super often. I still want my channel to focus on knowledge of HR for people. But I mean, how much more knowledge can you get when you're sitting here saying, okay, follow me for the day. So I think that's a great thing that I'm able to do that for you guys. If there are any parts that I'm not showing you that you're like, I really would like to know how this works or how that works, then let me know. And I can talk about it, but I'm not ever going to like vlog and meetings because I just don't think that's the right thing to do. I know I wouldn't feel right if anybody just rolled up with a camera and was like, yeah, I'm gonna record you and put you, like, holla at me before you just do it. Yep, see them folks, I got the ice cream. I'm about to get mine. And then I can go back to the office. That'll be my dessert for the day. I was gonna let it be Rice Krispie Treat, but nah, I'm gonna do this. TCBY for me, y'all. Alright, got my ice cream fixed, guys. Now we're gonna get our ass to the car. It's hard to get aggravated with traveling around for work when you see palm trees and beach houses all day. And beautiful water. It's just hard to get tired of something like that. Like everybody hanging out on the beach, but the ooh, the waves going.
anybody who wants to work in HR and you watching this video because you're like, oh, I want to start a career in HR, blah, blah, blah. Keep in mind that when you, and this isn't bashing nobody. I ain't trying to bash nobody. I'm just educating folks. Keep in mind that whenever you don't know something, research it, ask questions, whatever you need to do to get the answers. Because if your plan isn't to stay there to perfect your career and learn over time, then what you're going to do is leave a headache for the person behind you. I am so sorry. It's just, first of all, I need the IT to come and fix some stuff. And then I'm like, okay, so I can do my own boards and my terms and just stuff with I-9s got in the way. And it just became like, okay, this whole thing of, well, I'll just take out, see if there are any term ones. Because maybe that's why it's making it big. Well, not only are they term, but there's also some where instead of just filling in the rehire section, you're doing a whole new form, which is crazy. And I'm like, well, me, I don't know. I'm kind of all reasons why it can happen. Okay, so now I'm like, okay, now I already got some of these terms out, which I obviously need to do an audit. For I-9s, then now what I'm gonna do is put it in the term binder. Well, there is no term binder. Where you're putting these terminated I-9s, so you're supposed to keep them for a minimum of three years after they leave. That just kind of frustrated me because it was like, I'm trying to get stuff, stuff done and I keep getting these like projects that like interrupt my work that I'm like, I could leave this project for later, but it's in the way now. And I had a super duper productive Monday all together. If I can tell y'all I had any hiccup with this job, it is the fact that I have not traveled so far to get to work in so long. Really productive Monday. I have well, every Monday in the evenings I try to get home as early as I can or get my errands done as early as I can because on Mondays is always a either a master class or a live lesson in the e-brain club and I like to just catch those live like and not go back and watch them um Aaron and his team is like amazing on that whole thing but y'all can see I had a rough day because my makeup is like my makeup tired as hell thinking I'd be able to record when I get home but I forgot that I have to go pick up these steel the deals that I found. Side note, I like nice stuff, but I am not the fan of paying top dollar for things until I know, like, I need it, need it, need it, or it's so worth the investment for some reason or another. It's only certain things I'm going to pay full price for. I was on Facebook Marketplace. That's like my spot, y'all. That's my spot. I always just do yard sale when I was growing up. And left away from that a little bit because it kind of take up your Saturday morning anyhow. Definitely now, I'm like, man, forget them y'all sales. When you got Facebook Marketplace. And I found this man who was um, closing his office and, or moving his office. And he's selling these Ikea drawers. So I wanted, I just bought my Alex 9 maybe like a couple weeks ago, whenever I went to Charlotte. Now I've been like, damn it, I should just go ahead and get these short ones because I still want the space in my closet. And y'all just keep watching. Cause I'm gonna do a video all on like my whole closet re redo. And I was like, nah, but I'm not gonna spend $79.99 a piece for these things because I don't even know if it's gonna work. Like I probably would get rid of it. Anyhow, at my original office I had Ikea, Ikea desks and Ikea drawers, but they were dark. So now my whole office has changed from brown and black to white and gold and I'm so excited for them because instead of paying $79.99 for them at Ikea I don't know I'm seconds for $20 a piece Woo! so $40 instead of $79.99 for one let me have to get this man his money because I'm going to pick this thing up right now so so damn happy about that um, and if y'all like these vlogs let me know but yeah I'm going to definitely um Link the video so that y'all can watch all about the e-break. I'm so upset with myself. I just got off of tonight's webinar. Like, look at there. Literally on Zoom. Just got off of tonight's um, live lesson with Erin on demand in the e-brain club and it was so packed with information like I totally forgot to close out my day in the life out because today was all about doing video and like, she gave so much information on how to do like your lives and the chat was stupid going crazy and like it was just so much information y'all I totally forgot but my day has ended for work right now I'm about to work on editing this vlog and uploading my video or finishing uploading my video for tomorrow and then I do a little bit of side hustles that 
I'm like really trying to drop off and not do anymore. So I'm going to finish my little side hustle or do as much of it as I can. And when I'm all done with that, then I'm going to bed. In the meantime, I didn't even show y'all my dinner. Like I made dinner. It was super quick and easy because I just did like vegetables and some seafood. I'm exhausted. Like I hadn't talked to my girlfriends all day. So we chatted while I made dinner. So totally forgot to vlog. <laughs> But my new SD card came in so I can record on my phone, I mean on my camera all day next time versus recording on my phone. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys found some value in it. And I just hope that at the end of the day, you stay tuned. Thank you. See y'all later.